What's up? This is EasyOS 10, and it was just announced today that Orbits.com, the Orbits travel site that I have here, has been charging Mac users twenty to thirty dollars more to use their services, basically to um, to order a hotel and all these other services that they provide. And so, if you want to get around this, which is what I'm going to be showing you, you have to change your browser's user agent. And what the user agent is is telling the website what browser you are. That's part of the way, for example, you can go to a site and it brings up a mobile version. So what I'm going to show you is in Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Opera, how to change your browser's user agent to say you're not on a Mac, you're on Windows. And start with Chrome. On Chrome, you want to hit Command Option I. This brings up the Developers menu. Next, go down to the settings icon, this little gear icon, and open that. Now, you'll see here on the right side something called a user agent. Let me see if I can... there we go. You want to hit override user agent. This will allow you to select then what browser or user agent you want to use. So we see here Internet Explorer 7 through 9, which is exclusively Windows. Then we see Firefox options for Mac and Windows, as well as iPhone and iPads. I would say go ahead and use either the Internet Explorer options or the Firefox options for Windows, preferably Firefox 7 or IE9. And then that's it. You're done. However, it's only fair to note, this will only last so long as the developer's window, this thing, is open. As soon as you close the window, Chrome will revert right back to its original Chrome setting. Now over to Firefox. Firefox has a way to change user agent on its own. However, it's a lot more complicated than Chrome or some of the others. So if you want to make it easier, go ahead and download this add-on called User Agent Switcher. Go ahead and install it. And when it's done, you will have to restart your browser. When Firefox restarts, go to Tools and then Add-ons, which is the page I'm already at. Go down here to User Agent Switcher and select Preferences. You can set User Agent Switcher to be in the Firefox toolbar if you want, or just to remain in the Preferences section. By default, you'll get three Internet Explorer options, as well as the iPhone 3.0 browser and a Google, MSN, and Yahoo search bot. Go ahead and select Internet Explorer 8 and hit OK. Now your User Agent for Firefox is set to Internet Explorer 8, if you want to change this, however, you can go here to Reset Options, and you'll be returned right back to Firefox. So long as you have Internet Explorer 8 or one of the other options selected, that will remain your user agent, even if you close the browser. Just like in Chrome, you'll need to enable the Developer menu in Safari. To do that, go to the Safari in the menu bar, then go to Preferences. Go to the Advanced tab and select Show Develop in Menu Bar. You will now see that the menu bar displays Develop between Bookmarks and Window. Select that and go down here to User Agent. Here you can select between other versions of Safari on iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and Mac or Windows, Internet Explorer 7 through 9, Firefox 4.0.1 for Mac and Windows, and then Opera 11.11 .11 for Mac or Windows. Go ahead and again, I would recommend either doing Firefox for Windows or Internet Explorer just to make sure, just to be safe. Opera has its own user agent switcher built in and it's relatively easy to get to. As you can see here, I have it in my bar and it can switch between Opera, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. I would go ahead and hit Internet Explorer just because that defaults it to the Windows one automatically. With Firefox and Opera, you don't have those settings. However, I have it already here in my toolbar that is not there by default in Opera. In order to get it, right click on the toolbar, go to Customize, and then click on Appearance. Go to Buttons here in the top, Preferences, and then drag this Identify as Opera tag into your toolbar. And then you'll have it right there. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like what I do, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and or Google+. 
and be sure to check out the website, easyos10.wordpress.com. Thanks.